Let's continue on. Pick up with Jim Riddleman's press conference downstairs. Actually, one was going to have to fall in, or were you, like you're saying, you're worried that it wasn't well, going to happen? You know, it's not just that you need one to fall in, but your pitcher has got to go out there and keep holding them, which Levo did, and and then Storn and Caps did the same thing. You know, you're trying to hold them down as well. And um, but um, yeah, you know, it's it's not a good feeling to be hitting the ball on the button a few times and not getting much show for it because Santana is just uh, his his stuff was really really outstanding. So you're not going to get that many opportunities. To see Levo do what he did. Again, you know, he, he's given us a chance just about every time, you know. He's, uh, he's, he's gone deep in the ball game. He's, he's, he's done all the things you want a starter to do. He saved your bullpen. He's given you a chance to win the ball game, and quite often he, he's gotten the win for us. But, uh, um, you know, he's, he's pitched in some ball games where we haven't scored much, but he's, he's not uh, – he doesn't give in. You know, he just keeps making his pitches and uh, gets guys to hit the ball off the end or toward the label a little bit, and it's just a, a great performance. As the mud off the route and scored your first run after he maybe hadn't run out that double quite like he'd like. Well, I, I tell you, I, I really um, – when he hit that ball, you know, you, 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 when you say that, Tom – that's really the first I even really thought about that because I, I just I saw fans standing there like they're ready to catch that ball. I just knew that ball was gone, and I don't uh, concede that to a to a player too often if they don't go hard, you know, assuming they got a home run. But um, uh, I was I was shocked that ball stayed in. That's why I had him review it. I, I thought it had to hit back there on that concrete somewhere, and um, so when it bounced off of there, you know, you're right. He 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 could have been on third base, I guess, and. Um, we got a break on a wild pitch, and so Niger's run uh, scores him instead of having to hold him up at third, possibly because the left fielder is going to be in on that play. And Niger not looked too, uh, you know, comfortable against Santana before that hit for him to come through there. How, how big is that by? by him? Well, that's that's what we were just mentioning earlier. How great at bat that was because because Santana, Santana had got him a couple times, once on a ball up, once on a ball down and away. Um, you know he's he's he got him a couple times and then he's got two strikes on him there and, and instead of uh, cashing it in he he battled him and he and he did what we needed him to do which is to hit the ball hard and down and if he if he does that he's he's gonna find some holes and get hits if he hits it in the air not too many good things gonna happen. Most of the guys that had the key contributions for you tonight are guys that have been struggling. How nice is it to see them chip in and get you the win? Well, it, it's it's big, you know. That, that's that's the ebb and flow of the of the season. You know, guys are going to do that. Uh, very very seldom is a guy just, you know, right on top of his game from day one. That's why when when they, when you go through those things, you still got to find a way to win ball games. And uh, we just we haven't done that in June. Uh, you know, don't get too caught up in the calendar. But uh, June is over, and and we feel like uh, we as I said, we we cleaned up a little bit in the last couple of days of June, and we want that kind of baseball to carry into July and. And uh, we really, really played good baseball tonight. Warren in the eighth, and um, was it good to see him come through in a little, even more pressure situation than maybe he's even been in the past? Well, I, I really, you know, we've we've had clip up and in so much that if if we didn't tie the game, somebody's going to have to pitch that inning, and so I was going to have to get them both up, and I just I didn't want to get them both up. So uh, I, f I felt very confident with right-handed hitters come up to Storm, who's, you know, I don't want to jinx him, but he's, he's really been really been good against right-handed hitters. So if, if he could get those righties up and, and Davis came up with nobody on, I was going to let him face Davis. If I had to go get him for Davis, I'd have done that. But uh, uh, it gave us a chance to let him get through the inning, stay away from Clip for a day, and, and get uh, Caps in the ninth. And then if, if we had not scored, now Clip is, is going to follow Caps into the game. So um, it just um, just kind of the way it the way it flowed there. You know, if I absolutely known that uh, um, we were going to get a run, I, I might have had to think about it a little bit more. But I really I really felt good about, about storing on, on, a, on a couple right-handers there. He didn't. Even as you guys were having a hard time winning games, your pitching staff was pitching really well. Is it can it be an uplifting thing not just for for the whole team but for the staff too to start winning some of these games that they sort of maybe? Yeah, um, they, they've done a great job. I mean, Steve McCaddy is is done a great job with these guys. You know, this is this is some guys that uh, did not come out of spring training with us. Uh, you know, even even Drew Storn didn't come out of spring training with us, uh, but several of our, our guys who have gotten starts. 
Um, we're not guys who we necessarily were going to be counting on early in the year. They've they've come up and they've they've given us a lot of, a lot of chances. And and we feel like, like I said, you know, we haven't played our best baseball yet. Maybe uh, maybe we're getting ready to. I, I certainly hope so. You had to pull a lot of levers tonight. Do you feel like when you're struggling to score runs that you personally have to be more involved with what's going on on a play-by-play -play basis? Um, no, I don't. I don't think I did anything in the ball game. I, you know, I'm just uh, the only thing I'm just doing is trying to get our pitchers in there and and use them in the right times. And um, but you know, our, our offensively, um, you know, it's basically just. It's our same guys who went up there throughout the whole night. We really, you know, Santana did a good job of uh, holding down a running game the few times early in the game we had anybody on base. So there really wasn't much for me to do except uh, just watch a good baseball game there. Most teams get hot sometime in the season. Yeah. Have you ever been with a club that didn't have at least one real good hot streak in a year? Um, no, I don't think so. I think every every team I've been on, been associated with has has gotten a, a little bit hot, and and uh, it's just how long you can carry it, you know. And certainly we haven't got hot yet, uh, but but I, I think a tough win against a tough ball club in our division like that, and and we feel like we played Atlanta pretty tough, you know. They're, Atlanta's really playing good. We played them tough, and they they pitched very well against us, uh, but uh, we had chances. And that, that's what you got to do. You got to feel like you're competitive with with these better teams, uh, better records in the division, because you, you know when you when you look at them, you say, okay, well we can we can play with those guys. Uh, and um, again, it's just talk, but you know you do feel a little better about yourself when you win a couple. You know, it's so good to see the clean defense too from Guzzi and from Desmond. They looked really tight in the infield tonight. Yeah, we, we, we really played, you know, the last three or four days, we've really played much better defensively. And, um, you know, a, a huge play a couple of days ago that at the time it happened, I didn't even realize that, you know, and I, I really admire Desmond on the on the ground ball. That, you know, the chipper got in his way a little bit. You know, he, he could have made excuses, but he he really, he makes that play. You know, chipper did a good job of distracting him a little bit. And uh, you take that one play away, and we've had a number of, really clean ball games.